Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This time around we'll be using the Tempest. The Tempest is a little different than it was in Mass Effect 2. In Mass Effect 2, it was really a close quarters SMG. It had really widespread and poor damage over long ranges. In this game, especially when firing from cover, it can do just fine over long distances. So and even its description says that it's really a close quarters weapon. It's, it's not. I mean, it's fine in close quarters, but it's not like the Hurricane, for example, as a close quarters weapon. By the way, if you'd like to see its accuracy tested in more detail, check out my target practice series. This is my live fire series, and this is all going to be done in insanity. But to talk about mods, as with all SMGs, it benefits greatly from a high caliber barrel, more damage per shot. The heatsink can be useful, but this weapon does have a ton of ammo in reserve, a ton of ammo in the clip, so not strictly necessary. And that goes, you know, the same goes for the magazine. It does have a decent reload time, but nothing that's too irritating. If you do want to use it over longer ranges, feel free to use a scope. And ultralight materials are always nice. Makes the weapon weigh practically nothing. But just to conserve ammo to an extent and to make sure that I can use power as much as possible, I'll be using these two mods. And here we go. As you can see, 50 rounds of the magazine, 350 in reserve. Really don't see the, the need for the magazine upgrade. The... The heatsink can be nice, though. I mean, if you want to use it as a primary to conserve ammo, but again, having so much ammunition means this weapon also gets a lot of ammo per heatsink. Move up just a little bit. Oh no, you will not. None of that. Being an SMG, it's more about damage over time than damage per shot. You know, it's not going to do phenomenal damage. First shot, as you can see. Oh, well, I'm actually missing right now. Here we go. A lot of shots. Benefits greatly from headshots. It does have a fairly long reload for an SMG, but I still say that compared to a lot of weapons, not really a big deal. If you can get headshots, you really should. Because just baseline without an ammo power... Without mods, it doesn't pack a huge punch. Uh-oh. For the most part. Headshots improve things dramatically, though, as you just saw. So when you're facing a stationary opponent, or especially when you have a scope, Headshots improve the, the weapon's damage just dramatically. Okay, need to get some shots on that Centurion. I feel like there's somebody behind me. No. And if it helps you, you can certainly aim for center mass and just work your way up to the head as well. It's a pretty common strategy for weapon fire weapons. And it does decent damage against shields, especially if you can actually, you know, maintain and get shots on target. I'd say to take out an enemy from full shields, it took maybe, I don't know, 30 shots to do a whole clip. But I don't really think it'll take a whole clip, especially if you're getting, you know, headshots consistently. Okay, I'm going to try to shoot the next guy through the mail slot. You can get shots through the mail slot at short range, longer ranges when you have a scope. But, I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Hello. Alright guys, well that's it. I'm out of ammo. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Again, if I forgot this was on Insanity, this is on Insanity. Have a good one.